Want to see me destroy everyone at Sheffield? Get your tickets today. Yep, that's me. Here's a story of how I finished fifth place. So for those that didn't know what Sheffield was, it was one of the biggest prize pool meets that a company called SBD hosted in Sheffield, UK. We had 12 men, 12 women, best in the world who were battling out to be the best on that meet day. And the way that you were able to win was you had to hit a certain percentage of the world record total. Let's say the world record total was 100 pounds. I lifted 110 pounds on meet day. That means that I beat the world record total by 10%. So whoever had the highest percentage at the end of the meet, that's who won. We also had the opportunity to break world records in each individual lift, so the squat, bench, and deadlift, and we would get a prize for breaking that world record. So in total, we could potentially win up to $50,000 US individually if we broke all three in one overall. So I represented the 74 kilogram weight class where I currently hold the world record total of 790 and a half kilograms. Six months ago, at the beginning of this video, you guys saw where I said I was going to destroy everybody. <laughs> well, a lot had changed from six months until meet day. Let me explain. So within the six months leading into the Sheffield, I sustained three injuries and one bout of food poisoning. I had a back injury that I sustained at towards the end of January. And I had a pec tendon issue <laughs> in February. And then food poisoning hit me 36 hours out from the meet. Now, although I was battling all of these injuries, my coaches did a phenomenal job of kind of adapting the training stimulus and what was needed to get me onto the platform to perform at my best. So of the three injuries, the quad tendonitis was certainly the most painful and the most difficult to deal with and it actually implicated the squats more than I had anticipated and we ended up going two for three on squats where I attempted a world record of 283 and a half kilograms which is currently held by myself so that we could win some extra money because who doesn't love money however my knee flared up really bad on the third attempt where I intended to grind through but I didn't want to have the knee flare up any worse so that it didn't affect deadlift. So I failed my third attempt. However, the first two attempts, I went 255 kilograms and then I jumped up to 270 kilograms. And those actually moved really well, better than I had anticipated. So not happy that I didn't break my world record squat, but also not unhappy because I was satisfied with 270 just given the way that training had gone over the last three months or so if you have any other questions go ahead and leave them below if not let's move on to bench bench press i was actually happy with how i performed we were able to at least sustain a good level amount of volume leading into the meet so i was able to actually peak properly even dealing with some pec tendon issues so I went three for three on bench where I finished with 197 and a half kilograms, which is right below my PR of 202 and a half. Now, again, given the circumstances with food poisoning and not being able to stay fueled throughout the meat coming out of squats, uh, I was very pleased with how it went. I got some momentum. I started to really think that I'm back and I was very pleased with how the bench moved uh, overall. So the world record bench press total was 212 kilograms. So you can see why I didn't attempt to try to hit a bench world record. There was no possible way. That was 10 kgs above my personal best anyway. So we decided to just stick with the 197 and a half and it moved actually better than anticipated and better than uh, the way it moved in June last year at Worlds. So I'm very pleased with the progress that we've made and 
Let me know if you have any other questions or if I didn't address anything. If not, let's move on to deadlifts. So coming out of bench, we're starting to see the placing start to shape up a little bit. And now people are starting to jockey for position. I think it was like top eight that got paid out. But again, we wanted to place somewhere around top three. So leading into deadlifts, my first attempt was 292 and a half kilograms. Second attempt was 310 kilograms. And I went two for three again, got my first two attempts and they moved pretty good. And there was no way I was gonna beat Jesus Oliveras. So that number one was out of the question. But number two and number three were not. So that's where for my third attempt, we actually attempted a world record of 322 and a half, which potentially would have placed me in third place. Um, it would have at least put pressure on the top two finishers, which was Jonathan Keiko and then Gavin Aiden. So we decided to just, again, go for a world record on our third attempt because extra money and also potentially to place top three. Unfortunately, I didn't have anything left in the tank, no energy reserves. I was pretty much like just tired at that point. Unfortunately, failed my third attempt. So overall, I was actually pretty satisfied with the meet. I finished with a 777 and a half kilogram total, which put me in fifth place. And the reason why I say satisfied is because I still finished 10 and a half times body weight total, which not many people are doing that. I still out totaled every other 74 kilogram lifter in the world. And I beat seven other competitors given the circumstances that we were under. So again, these are not excuses that I listed from injury to food poisoning. It's just the reality. And we have set the bar so high for not just myself, but for everyone in the world because they're all chasing my dots and, and totals. But when we don't come close to that, it's like, it's almost like a failure. And it wasn't a failure, it's just learning lessons and another piece of, of data to get better in our next meet. But I'm not going to let one quote unquote bad meet determine or dictate me as a person or a competitor. And I'm going to take this one on the chin. However, still finished fifth place in a very competitive meet. I had a phenomenal experience. If you guys didn't get to watch it, I highly, highly recommend going back to SVD's YouTube page to go and take a look because it was they did a phenomenal job of putting this meet on. If you were there in person, you know what I mean. And if you weren't, you have no idea. There were over 1,700 people within an auditorium yelling, screaming. The emotions were high. The atmosphere was absolutely electric. And it was the best meet I had ever been a part of. So SBD, thank you very much for allowing me to come in and be a part of this experience. Uh, and, and thank you to all of you who showed up, tuned in, watched the live stream. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I promise you, I promise you that I'm doing everything in my power to get back to 100% health so that I can come back and prove who's number one. Thank you guys for tuning in.